check it out, y'all. Look what Adam's doing. Hell, Adam's actually here. <laughs> what did you say about my mama? I didn't say anything about your mama. I never even met your mama. <laughs> Catching stuff on fire. Playing with guns. We're having fun. We're having fun. He's not like putting up barn doors and stuff. Or whatever the hell he was doing. Some of that for the week. Playing with treadmills. Playing with treadmills. That's later on today. Adam, what's behind you? Oh! Little Red. The red Ranger. The red Power Ranger. Alright, so... If we take a few steps back, before Blizzard, Blizzard, bleh, that place again, before we went to Blizzard Bash, we had said there was a big announcement, and I was planning on having a big announcement that isn't this big announcement, because I told you all that this thing was sold, and it was, but now it's not, so we've never really looked all that close at this thing, because we never really knew what the plan was with it. We knew that we always had to find at least something else. Because, yes, we have two rangers, but Adam won't drive either one of them. <sighs> so, I always assumed that I was going to have to drive this. And we've been, you know, we've, last year with all the team shows and everything, it was hard to find a place to run a truck. We bought the tracker just for the hell of it to see what it was like. Um, aside from a broken seat and almost ended up going out the back window, that was pretty cool. Um, that was awesome. So, the, me almost going out the back window part. It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt, and it's amazing. <laughs> Something. Adam was rooting for it, that's for <laughs> sure. So, let's take a little closer look at this thing, because now, along with the H-Body, this is our next build, guys. So we're going to go through our normal intro. <laughs> you can squeeze the other side and pop the hood. I'm going through here. Holy smokes. Ooh, we might as well start with the interior, huh? I think I remember driving this on the trailer, kind of. Well, I drove it on the trailer, but yeah. Because it was way out in the middle of nowhere, parked in some field. Yes, that is correct. And the guy's like, yeah, it runs and drives. And we got there, and he goes, well, it does run and drive, but it has no gas tank, and it has the tires are all flat. Yeah, this is the only tire that's currently got air in it. Yeah. The front two are off of the rim. Those are nice wheels. And that one, you can put air in it, but it lasts for about an hour. Nice. So, what do we got in here? We got... My glove I was missing. Adam's glove. I hope that's not really your glove. No, Dude, is that your sunglasses? I know you're always losing your sunglasses. No, that's not mine. What's that rope? That's Grab that out of there. Camo rope. That looks what? like it could have been a snake. You need a camo hang yourself. Oh. Tow rope for this old Ford here. Look here, dick. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be hanging from that later. <laughs> that's a nice climber's hook, I will say that. All right, cool. Adam's going to take a climbing trip later. We're going to see how strong that is. Could have had a V8, or somebody already did. <laughs> but it didn't. Oh, <laughs> the drink. <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Use the flag, because... Uh. Oh, hey, throw a stick on it. We're legal. Thanks, Rick. Oh, that's a fancy stick there. I don't think you could break that one. <laughs> rip a duct tape. I'll use this as my walking stick on my climbing trip. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get this thing to go forward. Oh. Man, yeah. You know the coolest thing about this truck already? It's made out of metal. There ain't a bunch of plastic we got to take off of it. That's true. There ain't much that we gotta take apart. Uh -uh. Tail lights, headlights. The thing that concerns me the most is just that the bed is split in half right there. <laughs> yeah, we were gonna get to that, but there it is. So you can see she's got a big old split in her, but who cares? It's just a bed. Nobody cares, right? We can fix that right here. Some wood. There's some more fancy wood for you right there. And then some more stuff that I can't really tell what it is. Not a whole lot of interior to take out because it's a single cam. Mouse house. Yeah. Not talking about the places in Vegas. Cheese, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did you I pop the hood yet? I didn't pop the hood yet. I got my techno shot for the year, so we should be good. I don't think you need one of those every year. I, I lied, I think it's popped already. I forgot it's broken in there. Good. There ain't no battery in it. I'm trying to honk the horn to scare you. Gee, thanks. All right, guys, I'm going to set you down for a second because i got to try to open the hood. Is this for a screen door spring or something? There we go. Oh, God, you guys are on the hood. Let's move that. Oh, this one needs a prop rod. Adam, I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, guess what, Cody? What? 
Found the proper eye. Ah, hey. You know, a lot of times things are in vehicles for a reason. Put it down by the battery tree. Or that'll work. I can get it up here a little higher so the folks folks at home can see. I don't trust that at all. Up a little bit. He here. doesn't he doesn't hardly show up anymore, but at least he cares about you guys. Appreciate <laughs> that, huh? What do we got? Battery cover of it. Yep, that's what we're using it for. <laughs> Ripped off mud flat, used as better. Man, this is just a much smaller version of the uh, the Lincolns and stuff like that that we run, honestly. We have Ford's V6. Batteries in the same spot. Three yeah. liter. So this is a three liter V6 truck, which I think we're required to have in the small truck classes here. Ford didn't put a V8 in theirs anyway. The Ranger. Nope, no, never, never had a V8. That's right, yeah. So. This will be running somewhere. Yes, we don't know yet. Yeah. We're going to work on getting it built. We are going to do a complete build. Um, it's not going to get to a halfway and then take it somewhere else. So we're going to completely build this thing. We've never built the truck before. The uh, last one we bought was pre-built. So um, that, to me, that's exciting. Something completely different. And it was an SUV. It wasn't technically a truck, I guess. Fair enough. Same class. Yeah. yeah. So um, decent amount of space is, from what I can tell so far. Um, we should you know, get this thing yeah, this actually cleaned up shouldn't like really be all that hard. Um, be one of the easier things just from looking. I mean, probably because, like I said, it's a small scale version of full size cars, which are a yeah, lot it's easier. A full easier. frame. It's yeah. So, yeah, we'll get to working on that. I'm going to grab that light back from you. I'll show you guys underneath. Now, if you know, remember we've got another Ranger out in the barn. That is a two three. That's a four cylinder. That's a motor that people continue to want to buy from me, and I tell them that they're not allowed to have it until I actually run the Ranger. And right now we can't get it to run. So, um, we'll figure that one out later as Adam's breaking stuff over there. Uh, we'll get you another update. Your next video will be an update on the H-Body. We're already up to seven minutes of my rambling on this one. So, um, I'm just going to get you a little bit of a closer look. Uh, if you're going to run, if you've got 201, you might as well run the beat-up one first, right? Okay. Learn on that one. This one's a little bit rough. So, we'll climb underneath here. It's a truck, so even my fat ass can kind of crawl around underneath it and be able to show you kind of what's going on. I'm going to set you down so that I don't have to tip over onto all this glass and I spill onto the floor. Alright. So, horrible lighting. There we go. There's a lot of rust. The bed actually isn't horrible, but if you look out here towards the rails, or the, whatever, the sides, where they welded them together, it's all pretty rusty. The frame, back up a little bit. I mean, there's no holes, but I mean, it's solid scale all the way back, that's for sure. Looks like somebody replaced the exhaust at one point, which irritates me because I'm thinking that means my converters are probably gone. No more cats. Hey, look at that. There's a little bit of black on the frame and a spot that actually might matter a little bit because that's where it would probably bend. I'm assuming that's where these things would want to belly. As you get up towards the front, it's not quite as ugly. I don't know a whole lot about steering and suspension and stuff in trucks, so we're going to have some learning to do. That's okay. We'll take you along, um, as we do with everything else. We're going to make sure that we can get as much of this done. Um, I've got some fairly large announcements as far as the show that this is going to go to, but we're going to wait a little bit on that. Waiting for some final details to come out, um, and it's going to go to a fairly large event. And we're going to hopefully find Adam an SUV of some sort so that he can run also at that same event you see the frame on the other side really guys it's the same story all the way around um, one of the biggest concerns that i actually just recently learned i don't know if it's this side or the other side we'll find out though while well, i crawl around under here oh, that one's attached so that means that one yep there it is let's see how can we show you right there oh where'd i go Anyway, there it is. The hanger over there is broken. So that spring is no longer attached. It's just up against the bed on that other side. So we'll modify that a little bit. I don't think I've ever actually read through the truck build rules. Well, Never built one. that's true. We are allowed some extra clamps and stuff back here, so we'll uh, we'll get to work. Obviously, we'll weld this rear end up and all that fun stuff and show you guys as much as possible. Um, this is build season, so there's going to be a lot of build videos for you folks that don't like watching the builds. Sorry. We know everybody likes to watch the aftermath. That's what you guys all want to see, and those are the videos that get all the attention. But for you that follow us all the time, we appreciate that, and we know that you guys like seeing these videos. So in just a little bit, we'll get you an update on the 
H body, but let us know what you think of the little Red Ranger that we're going to start plunking away on here as well. Appreciate you guys following along as always. Get goosed.